My name is Steve Archer from uh, Wim Park Academy in Blackburn with Darwin. We are a very diverse uh, high school with over a thousand pupils. Uh, so the whole Digital Healthy Schools project um, fitted in very well with our kind of concept of wraparound care for our young people. Digital Healthy Schools is a programme helping to raise awareness of the really positive uses of um, the technology that all young people pretty much have these days. Um, particularly using their smartphones and their access to apps to find information about their own health, uh, hopefully to make positive differences to their, to their long-term outcomes. I enjoyed the course uh, thoroughly. I think it was a great experience. What I learned from the course is that there are many digital health apps that you, people can use and they're easily accessible. I found this app called First Derm and it's a dermatology app. And what it does is it analyzes your skin condition uh, when you take a picture of it. And because my mum has eczema, I, refer I recommended this app to her. And at first she was kind of skeptical of the app, but then I showed her, you know, the, like, that it's regulated and it's safe. So she used it and then she referred it to a GP, like see the GP's opinion on it. And, she, and the GP said that it was really good. And uh, she recommended a cream that helped my mum based on the analysis that, pro that the app provided. Since the course, I have been um, more active. I used to like get a car to school, ride my bike to school, and now I uh, walk there and back. Before I started uh, using Health Apps, I didn't really think that it would help me in any way, but they really do track how you're feeling, uh, your state of mind, your physical state as well, so it really does help. Yeah, there's a fitness app that counts your steps and gets you more active and uh, gives you rewards for everything you do. It's really getting me out of the house a lot more and it's getting me to do more things. I also use the app, it helps you to walk and it motivates you. There's lots of different reward systems in place. I, I feel like everyone that I know should be on this app because it will get you more fitter and uh, a lot more, walking a lot more. Since using health apps, I just started drinking more water. Um, after going to the course, I discovered that the health on my phone is actually a good health. Is actually a good health in hand. I think what makes it different is like if you have something on the phone, it sticks there, so like it gives you notification. Since using the sleep app, a sleep app, I think I have more like I've been more alert about my education, like what's going through my head, and I listening carefully and stuff. We're all young people and like we're going through so many different things at once. So I feel like it just reminds you on what you have to be like, keep healthy and like give your body like the best feeling you could ever. And like it's really good, cool. it's like a really good thing that our school like, taught us about it and we did a course, it was a really good thing. Young people receive quite a lot of um, negative input about social media, uh, about technology generally. Um, so this was a, a really good way of presenting a positive image. Um, something that really engaged them in the class. Yeah. The, the package itself, very self-explanatory, easy to set up, good to go with the kids. Uh, they really you know, very easily access what we were, we were doing. So as a bespoke package to deliver a particular uh, project into school, it was, uh, it was highly accessible. There are a number of students who say that they've actively made changes to their lifestyles, which is really positive because it seems that young people are taking responsibility for their long-term health. Um, to colleagues in, in other schools, I would say that um, we shouldn't miss any opportunity to promote the well-being, the health of, a, of our young people. They are ultimately our future.